me now is Congressman Doug Collins. He's a ranking member of the House Judiciary Committee. He is also running for Senate for the state of, New, of Georgia. Good to see you, Congressman. Thanks for being here. Let me first talk. Lou was talking about China. And there have been a lot of people that have been drawn towards the so-called China solution, uh, which actually was more of a Maoist solution to the, to the coronavirus. So you, you just totally lock down the country uh, no matter what people prefer. The president seems to be trying to find a more American solution of, of licking the virus while at the same time reopening the economy. Uh, some people, like Zeke Emanuel, who formulated Obamacare, doesn't think that's possible. What do you think? Well, I'm not sure I really care what Zeke Emanuel thinks about a lot of things after the destruction of the health care through Obamacare that he brought forth. Uh, I'll take a president who is actually working with people, who's actually listening to ideas and trying to balance the two between the health of people and the economy. He, he's never uh, wavered from that. He per, first and foremost puts the people, America's, uh, Americans first and their health. And then how does that also work into the economy? Because they're actually intertwined. A healthy populace makes an economic workforce that booms. And, and really, I take sort of an interesting exception. China, uh, the way they responded was more after they lost control of it. And then they had a massive shutdown, which you can do in a communist society because there's no uh, nothing to stop the government from uh, pressing its citizens. And I think what the president's doing is making the American approach to say, look, we have our health needs and we have our business needs. And I think he's done a good job of finding that fine line. The left just really doesn't want to say that he does anything well. So it doesn't surprise me when they attack him. And in fact, it's, it's virtually impossible to have public health uh, without the resources from a private economy, is it not? Uh, not to have the best uh, medical resources in the world. There's no one, I believe, that'll question the American medical community and its research and its development and its treatments are the best in the world. That's why people come here. That's why people are, are drawn to it. That's why our, our scientists and our doctors and our researchers are the ones who send cures to the world. And, you know, you have that uh, partnership with the private industry. You have the, the groups that are, are developing new ideas and new processes. While you have the state partnerships in, in the federal uh, with NIH and with uh, the CDC and others who are all partnering together. So it's always been sun. When you have a healthy economy, you can do a lot of things. And when we have healthy people who can uh, be a part of that economy, that's the integral part. The people are always the main part of any economy. The president understands that. And that's why we're, uh, I think, moving forward uh, as well as we are. Well, if you have no economic growth, you, you have no resources for any public health system whatsoever. You just don't. So uh, an economy that has been shut down like ours uh, will not be able to feed into the public health system until there is some startup of the economy. How do you begin it? Well, we, I think we begin it two ways. Number one, we begin to keep people focused on the taking care of themselves, the social distance. We've seen those actually work, and we're hearing the, the days of hospital bed doubling has uh, slowed from the, every two days to now about every five days. But we also start with what we've just done in Congress, and hopefully we'll finish up tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, it might get held up a little bit tomorrow, but I'm hoping it will not. This is a, is just, you were just talking with Lou about, this is the uh, package the president and Secretary Mnuchin and the leaders on both sides of the aisle have come forward with to not only to tackle the big areas of health care, making sure that our health care providers and those on the front lines have the resources they need to continue this fight and to, and to win it. We also have the business and, and personal aspect of making sure businesses have the liquidity right. and the capital to keep their business going and pay employees instead of people going on unemployment. And, and doing so in a way that actually keeps both sides, the health and the economy, going in dual purpose. So I think the president leading it, getting out front, our governors across the country doing so as well, our legislators putting the package together that we put together, and then people following the guidelines that have been set forth so that we can slow this curve. Congressman, quickly, I, I mentioned the, the, the stuff getting sort of slipping through the coronavirus cracks in Congress uh, uh, first among them, I think, in your interest, is the FISA reforms that we saw how much those reforms were needed with the whole Russia investigation. Uh, does it concern you that, that they're being delayed and that they may be put off indefinitely? Well, there's two things that concern me about FISA. Number one, the Senate punted. They just absolutely punted and, and sent a bill over to us that just extends it for 77 days. We've not had a chance to take that up because we've not been up there. But there, we had a bill that passed out of the House that could have been a lot more. I wanted to see more, but it, we found a way to get it passed. And it makes real changes and real substantive changes to those who attacked the president and then candidate Trump. And for those of us who've been dealing with this for a long time, and then to continue to have this delay, I mean, the, it seems there's a lot of delays going on, but the FISA court is something that needs to be changed and, and looked at now. There needs to be accountability now. 
Uh, we cannot let a corrupt cabal that wants to uh, develop to use the FISA court to spy on American citizens. The Carter pages and the, and the investigations against uh, the candidate Trump and then President Trump has not uh, has got to stop. Finally, how are you feeling? I'm uh, feeling great. Uh, just looking forward to continuing to work with our residents and everybody to make sure we get through this and come out uh, on the better side. Doug Collins, great to see you, sir. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it.